Here we are going to add wound and some scratches and some bruises on our character. Now he is a fighter so I do want to portray that he has been through some battles in his life. I don't want him to look all clean and nice and look like he's never been touched. He looks like he's never been through anything rough in his life. So I want him to look like he's actually what he actually is, a fighter, a true fighter. So let's let's go ahead and rough him up a little bit. We're gonna add some nice scratches and some nice wounds on this guy. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to add another material here. We're gonna add another smart material. And the way we've been adding smart material is by going to the layers and clicking on this icon and adding smart material through here. I want to show you a different way of adding that smart material. Another way to do that is going to the shelf, going to smart materials here, and you could drag any of the smart materials here onto the layer panel. Okay. So what we could do is drag this aluminum ionized red click hold and drag it onto the the very top stack of the layers here so it should be the very first thing that you see okay and then what we could do is we could right click and click on add black mask so it had hidden that material for us because what we want to do is we want to just reveal the parts of that a layer that's going to be representing the wound for our character so going to make sure that you are you are on the mask part of the layer and if you just bring down your brush size and then just start painting on the face make sure that you are on a white color and then you start painting here it starts to reveal that ionized that aluminum ionized red on his face and right now it just looks flat it looks like it's just a, a very shiny paint on his face what we want to do is we want to add depth to that so how do we make it look like uh, how do we make it appear like it's pushed in this part of the paint that we have just created we could go open up the aluminum ionized red folder by clicking on the folder there and you could see inside it there's the aluminum base and we have some material properties here that we could mess around with we could just go ahead and turn off the normal and the metal and leave the roughness the rough height and the color now going to the height here right now it's set to black if we bring the slider all the way to the left you see how it pushes it in and if we bring it to the right it pushes it out so what we want to do is push it in a little bit so to give it that depth and we don't want it to we, what we could do is go to roughness and mess around with the shininess so if you don't want it that shiny you could bring it over to the white value if you want it to be a little shinier you could bring it to the black value i think i'll leave it like that for now maybe it's a little too shiny that's fine and then we could also change the the color of this base all right we could go click here I want it to be a dark, uh, a wound that looks like it's been there, so I could choose a darker red. If you want a fresh wound, it's probably best to make it like a lighter red. Okay, so now going back to the mask of the aluminum ionized red here, and we could reveal or hide portions of this layer. So I could press X and just kind of hide the parts here that I don't really want to show and you can mess around with your brush size and I could kind of adjust there you go sometimes you gotta adjust the lighting to see a little better And I think uh, I think it's a little too deep. So I could go back to the aluminum and bring bring it up a little bit. It's a little too much. So I'm just subtle. I think this is fine. Subtle like this. And then going back to the mask. 
So you got to be careful of where you're painting at. Okay, so yeah, something like that. So he has a little scratch there, a little bit of wound. And what I could probably do is also add a little bit of wound, probably on his chest here. Let's see. And what's good about this is we can always go back and erase that we need to. We can go back and mask it out. So you guys want to grab some photos of some wounds as you do this to make it more realistic. You know, find some references. Okay, so I think that really adds a lot to the character. So there's, there it is. And we could just go ahead and rename this. I'm just going to rename this skin. Yeah, I'm just going to name it Wound. And then just going to go ahead and close this group folder. And what we could do is we could add some bruises on our character too. So going to create a new layer and this time we're gonna call this one uh no, <laughs> we already did but call this one bruises all right and we could use one of the dirt brushes go to brushes here i'm gonna use the dirt one brushed and just bring in down the brush size and i'm going to go to my base color here. Uh, for the material settings here, we could just turn off the height, roughness, metal, and normal. All we need is the color. And I'm just going to choose a darker reddish color here. And I could, we could do a little painting, maybe some Bruce here kind of near his bicep. Yep. Something like that. And we could also add maybe around here on his abs. Maybe somebody had kicked him on his ab area also. Somewhere on the side. And maybe here. Okay, that's fine. And we, when you have a bruise, you also, the bruise has a little bit greenish tone to it. So we could add a little bit a greenish color, like a desaturated green. Okay, so something like that. Let's see. And also here. So it's usually like around the edges where it's a little bit greenish. And right now it looks a little strange, but we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of effect here to make it a little bit more natural. Okay, so let's do a little effect here. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, blur this out, blur this out a little bit. To blur it out, we could create an, a filter here. We could right-click on the bruises layer, and we could go and add filter right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this slot. Click here. And you're gonna see some filters that are available here in Substance Painter. Let's go ahead and find blur, which is this right here. Click on the blur. Okay, so you have it has been added onto the bruises, and if you crank up the blur intensity, you could see if you look at your 
mesh, you can see it blurring out if you if you increase the value for the blur intensity here. So we want to crank it up just a little bit. Okay, I think it's a little too much. I think 0.5. Nope. Point zero eight. Okay, 0 0.09 is okay. And then what we could do is we could go to the Aruzes opacity value and bring it down a bit, just a tad bit. Okay, I think this is fine. That shows a little bit of Bruce on him. And yeah, that's, that is good. And while we're at it, while we're adding uh, blurs, I think Looking at the tattoo here, we see it looks like it's jagged edges on the tattoo. We could add a uh, blur filter effect also on the tattoo so that it wouldn't look so pixelated. So let's go back to our tattoo here on our layers. Click on the tattoo layer, right click, and add filter. And then go into the filter here, add blur. And that just blurs it way too much. So we got to mess around with the blur intensity maybe 0.1 I think that we could use a little bit more 0.15 nope sometimes you just take some playing around with the values so maybe this is good enough maybe 0.11 I think 0.11 is fine I don't want it to be that blurry yeah it works there it is and I could probably go to the wound here. I think we could add a little bit, a fewer scratches because it looked like this is a little bit too enhanced and then all of a sudden it just faded out. It looks like it just all went away. So we want to slowly still add a little bit, few scratches here kind of near where the big scratch, the biggest scratch is. So going to the mask of the wound here. And going to my going back to the basic soft brush that I have had before, bringing down the brush size and okay, we'll okay. So just adding just a bit more. Scratches here. So it doesn't look like it just fade out. Okay, so if we don't want it, you know, too clean, we want to slowly have it come in. And maybe we could add just a few more here and there. So yeah, he, he looks like that he's definitely been the rough type, rough type of guy. So he looks like he has history to him. But at the same time, we don't want too much where he looks like, he looks like Frankenstein. So I think this should be it. I think this should be fine. We don't want to, we just don't want to overdo it. And that's it, guys.